Get us on that. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Once again, we are back. We are back with the fucking banger, guys. And by banger, I mean we're gonna be banging that. <laughs> So guys, I told you guys last week we're gonna be installing subs on the F-150. That's what we're fucking doing today. And this is what's going on. So a couple of videos back, I told you guys I was gonna go with a different setup. I was gonna go with the DS18 box with six subs, so six, six and a halfs. But I've been reading on the forums, guys, that people are just saying that it's not worth spending the extra money on those extra subs. So the thing is, um, there, there's not enough airspace in a box under the seat on those F-150s to have six subs. So it's not really going to make a difference. So it's going to sound the same, I guess. That's what they've been saying. And who knows? Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. But either way, I had four subs in my other F-150 and they fucking banged hard, man. So we are back. The other thing, too, is that on my other F-150, the subs were six and a halves. These are eight inch. So they're probably going to bang harder, guys. But anyways, I went with the Scar Audio box. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I leave the plastic on it? You know how Mexicans like to leave plastic on their couches or their phones to keep it new? Should I do that? I'm just playing. But, and then we got four uh, Scar Audio subs. So this, I got these through Scar Audio. This was like a $700 thing after tax, just because they were running a 20% off sale. So I went for it and this is badass. And then guys, I got a uh, amp and the epicenter. If you guys don't know what an epicenter is, you guys need it if you listen to corridos or Mexican music, that shit gives your subs more bass for those Mexican songs. Cause you know how Mexican songs don't really have bass. That's what it does. And then guys, usually with amps, I go with to power subs. I go with the rocks for Fosgate. But the thing is these Terra amps have been banging hard and I got an HD 2000. So this is a 2000 watt amp, but I've been seeing that people have been testing those at one ohm, been getting 25, 2600 watt RMS, which is enough to power these. They say these are 600 watt RMS each. So that sounds good, right? And then guys, this is another little project we're doing for the truck. So this is a little board. It's called a 1 4 inch MDF board. So what this is gonna be, this is gonna be my amp rack for like this stuff. And then for my other amp that I have in there and my crossovers. So we're gonna be using this as an amp rack. Now, what people have been doing is they've been painting it with undercoating because it's rubberized. And what it does is when the subs hit, it's not gonna be rattling, you know? So they paint it with this and it's rubber, so it's not gonna be making this noise. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys. I'm gonna start painting this shit and unwrapping that stuff. And then look, also with this, um, I, I just fucking uh, saw this right now in the back seat. So look, guys. Yeah, Team Diablos. <laughs> Anyways, so um, well, this is where the amp rack's gonna go, but I think what we're gonna have to do is remove this sub. Plus, I'm not gonna use this shit. This shit doesn't even fucking bang, guys. So I'm gonna take this out. And then I'm also going to take the, this. Is, we have to leave this in, but I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to put the amp rack in and then put this on the amp rack. And then, like I told you, the little amps, the amps under there and the little crossovers, guys. So let me just go ahead and start doing all that shit, guys. And I'll keep you guys up there, right? So let me go fucking do that shit. All right, guys. Hey, so we're back, guys. Look, I got the subs put in and we got them wired inside the box. I'm going to post a little diagram right here. Look at my hands. I'm going to put a little diagram right here on how I wired them, guys. So I did get them down to a one ohm. As you guys can see here, what's well, 0.9, same thing, one ohm. So we're gonna get the full 2000 watts to the subs, guys. That's gonna be great. We also got the amp rack cut out, guys, and painted. The thing that this sucks is I know there's spots everywhere. You can see it good on camera, but I don't wanna keep doing coats, guys, because it's so cold. So it's not really drying, guys. And plus, when the seats are up, you can't even see it, you know? And you probably won't even see it when the amps are all like screwed in there, guys. But we also got the factory amp and the factory sub taken out. So that way we can put the amp rack in here. It's gonna go right here. So we can finally screw these in to the amp rack so they're not fucking flying all over the place, guys. But yeah, let me just put the, start putting the amp rack in and getting it screwed down, guys. And then I'll show you guys a little sneak peek, all right? So I'll be back. All right, guys, hey, so we're back. This is a little update I got for you guys. Uh, the amp rack's in, as you guys can see right here. We even got hella space over there for more amps. And we got all the shit we need already plugged in and uh, fucking screwed into the back, guys. Our factory amp, which this thing's huge, guys, took a lot of space. Our crossovers, our epicenter, our 2000 watt amp for our subs and our four channel, guys. And there's still more space. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about the epicenter, guys. The epicenter, all it is is like if you listen to Spanish music, like I said, corridos, you know how it doesn't have a lot of bass? Well, that adds more bass to your subs, guys, so it can hit hard on that song that doesn't have shit of bass. So it's easy to install. Uh, literally guys, so 
this is the ground remote and my power wire to my amp right all you literally got to do is so epicenter i wonder if i can zoom into here so the epicenter comes with these right here yeah with this little thing you just put ground uh, right here remote ground and power wire and it goes directly to your amp right there and that literally powers the epicenter and you're good and also with the rcas instead of plugging your rcas directly to your amp what you do is you plug the rcas that go from the back of your stereo to the epicenter and then you get another set of rcas plug that to your epicenter and that goes into your amp back here and that's it and then you just hook up your subs and it also comes with a little bass knob so like if you're listening to a song that does have bass you turn it down and if you have a song that doesn't have any bass you turn it up guys so it's that easy i didn't know about it honestly guys until like i started watching videos about it and it's pretty dope because on my other truck the corridors would hit and the fucking bass would just be missing but yeah let me just go ahead and start cleaning up right there guys putting the seats up and then i'll bring the subs and then start putting them under the seat all right so stay tuned so buenos dias mi rosita good morning guys so it's a new day and as you guys can maybe tell right here we gotta finish up the truck because we didn't finish it last night we had some technical difficulties but we got it all fixed and it's all good to go guys um one thing i forgot to mention to you guys was last week guys i took the truck to the body shop and i didn't show you guys but look they actually fixed the scratch that was right here and the paint that was peeling right there so it looks pretty good but yeah guys so this is what's going on so last night i told you guys we got the amps in everything's good to go everything's plugged in and works amazing and then we threw the subs in the box and this is what was going on so this sub uh, for some reason was not moving guys and then this amp kept going into protection mode so i was trying to figure out what it was and this is what happened so i took the sub box out and then i took the last this this subwoofer out guys because it wasn't moving and what was going on was the wires behind this sub they got caught so when i screwed in the screw guys the screw went right through the wire and was making a short and we're making that go into protection mode whenever i would turn it up but uh, but guys we got it fixed and they work now so they're not nothing's happening when i turn it up but all i got left to do is we have to run the the base knob from the epicenter we got to run her all the way through guys and put her under the dash and also clean the truck guys because she's hella dirty and we'll be good to go so it's this base knob right here so yeah guys so let me just go ahead and do that and then i'll give you guys a little listen on to how it sounds but it sounds great guys all right so stay tuned okay guys so we came to an empty parking lot because i think my neighbors are mad again for fucking blasting the music guys as you guys can see right here guys my truck is fucking dirty the inside and outside but look you guys can see the, the weather is just always so bad guys but anyways we got the right here the base not put in as you guys can see it's on i just need to screw it in somewhere and then we also got the subs pushed back guys and all the amps and everything working fine i have my son's ipad guys i had to rip it out of his hand so you guys got to give him props we have a bass booster song right here so we're gonna see how the subs sound guys um this song sounds like it's gonna fucking make him hit hard but you guys will see i'm gonna put you guys in the mirror and stuff and then also show you guys the subs how how they bump so here we go guys let's play the song Alright guys, so let me go turn it down. I hope you guys can hear it. It sounds really good guys, it does. Alright guys, well I turned it down and I hope you guys could hear it man. That thing sounded badass. I love the way it sounds. Especially for how much that little setup cost me guys. I think it's a great setup and you guys should go get that shit as well. But guys, other than that, if you guys really enjoyed or learned anything from this video guys, comment down below, give it a like. And if you guys haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe guys. It's always a blessing when I get a new subscriber, so I thank you guys for that. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys on next week's video with a clean truck, all right? A rato, guys, later.